and welcome everybody to BD Games. I am your host as always, Brandon, and we're going to play a retro game here today. It is Sunset Riders. And uh, let's see about this game over screen here. There we go. Let's add, let's add some credits here. Actually, 104. That's okay. So we're start as this guy with the hand with the uh, re revolver. A um, little backstory on this game. I used to play this game all the time in the arcade uh, when I was younger. Um, and this game was something that I was surprised it never came out earlier on modern consoles. Like a lot of the uh, arcade games in the back of the day, we had a release of The Simpsons um, on modern consoles. I believe, I believe Turtles in Time came out on modern consoles at some point as well. Uh, the fact this is coming out on, the, on this, a console now. Um, I am playing this on Nintendo Switch, Nintendo Switch by the way. Uh, very surprising that uh, this just came out not that long ago on the Switch. <laughs> Run on the balls! Ah, uh, obviously this game is a little bit easier with more than one person playing, but uh, that's how. Oh, you've got to be kidding! <laughs> that's how things go. But I'm definitely glad to end the week um, on this note with playing a retro game. Uh, you know, I, a lot of people I think associate retro games with on Fridays. You know, you, you did your schoolwork. Got to go to a friend's house and play some play old or, or a PlayStation, something like some retro back in the day. That's kind of what I did. I used to play Goldeneye all the time. Oh no! <laughs> continue. continue. Oh no! Whoops! I used to play Goldeneye back in the day with my friends. Oh my goodness! There we go. First boss. It's time to pay, see? Ah. Oh. Well, I added more credits. I added more credits again. I keep hitting the button by accident. Okay, down and B is slide. That's what I thought. Okay. First boss isn't particularly difficult. I mean, would you rather play this or Red Dead Redemption 2, am I right? <laughs> He's flashing. That old arcade game trope. They flash red, they're almost dead. Ah. Marry me with my money. <laughs> Bury me with my money. <laughs> oh, these old games' voices are so good. Hawkeye Hank Hatfield. What a name. And what a suit. Now we're riding a steed. Ride him, cowboy. Look out. You don't. Yeah, this isn't. Oh, jeez. Uh, wow. Continue. How do I uh, switch characters? Uh, I guess I can't. I don't know how. I guess I don't know how. I was gonna pick the guy with the shotgun, but uh, I, I guess it was too quick. I couldn't do it. Whoa! Hello. Explosion. But yeah, I was gonna say this game. 
you know, as popular as it was, I didn't see it in many arcades uh, when I was older. And I did actually see it in the arcade in Chicago, um, up in a suburb of Chicago, called the Galloping Ghost Arcade. Obviously, I think people have heard of that, a very iconic arcade in the Midwest, and one of the biggest arcades in the country. Um, and I did go there once before the pandemic. Luckily, got to go with a friend of mine, and uh, definitely worth worth the wait and uh, worth the time to go. It's, it has a lot of old games, some games you haven't even heard of. Really a, a, really a fun time, definitely, to be had uh, going to that place. I'll switch. I want to switch characters after this guy, but I don't know how. I don't want to die and then start over, you know what I mean? I'll pick the guy with the shotgun. And honestly, uh, I'll be honest with everybody, I can see that that black s sort of rectangle shape in the top right of the screen. I have no idea what that is. Um, I did check. It was another game. Uh, but I don't I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's only in this game. I checked it with another game earlier. And it's 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 just this game for some reason, so I have no idea. Draw, Pilgrim. Draw, Pilgrim. See? Why do they talk like 1920s gangsters? <laughs> they should be saying stuff like, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. <laughs> Quit jumping around, man. Hawkeye. Hank Ma McCoy, Hank uh, Hatfields. I say McCoy. Hank McCoy is the, is Beast from X Men. Got X Men on the brain after the day playing Madden. <laughs> Charles Xavier Armadillos. Go Armadillos. But yeah, this has been a fun week so far to get this channel started. Started on Monday with Cuphead, and we're ending today with a little retro game of Sunset Riders, which uh, one of my favorite arcade games that I've played growing up, and I'm glad to bring it to you uh, end of this first week uh, here on BD Games. And thanks, everyone, so far for subscribing and uh, joining this journey so far. Stop jumping around, man. Uh. Oh. Ah. Please can. How do I change? Uh. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to change my character. There should be a button to press, but I don't know how to do it. I guess. is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> maybe because I'm first player and he's he's this guy, maybe I don't know. I could be. It's okay. Gotcha, pilgrim. Got me. You got me. Bonus stage. Oh, I missed. Oh, it says I, I hit him, but I don't think I hit the guy in the window. Ah, too fast. So many colors, green, blue, red. Ah. Ah. Hooray.
Whoa, look at this guy. Dark Horse. Looks like uh, one of those guys in those romance novels. I'm Fabio. Oh, yeah. What do you think we did in there? Hmm? Hmm? Ah! Dynamite! Look out! Drinking on the job. Oh, I got hit by the rake. Oh, really? I got hit by the rake. The old comedy trope. Ah! Oh, I want to jump into the bullet. Please continue. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I hit every button I could think of. I don't know why I can't pick the other character. That's okay. We'll stick with Steve. Hotel, or hostel, hmm, or brothel. No, nice dodge. Yeah, man, days like these are long gone. Arcade games are uh, definitely not like this anymore. But it's cool that the, they, they put these old games on, on modern consoles now, which is really, really neat. If we could experience these games uh, way past the times they were in their prime, which is really, really cool. All right, I got uh, Dark Horse here. Let's see this guy. Whoa. You in deep, big trouble. I'm in big trouble. I am. What did I do? Oh, I duck! Oh, oh, I thought I ducked. Wow, oh, I'm not ducking apparently. Don't shoot the horse. So is is he dark horse or is the horse dark horse? That's my question. Whoa, helicopter! Ah. Oh. Please continue. He's flashing. He's a flashing. Look out. Almost got him. Uh uh ah. Uh. You got me, partner. You got me, partner. Oh, jeez. Hello. You all right, ma'am? Oh, those terrible men. Please help. All right, ma'am. Don't worry about it. <laughs> all right, ma'am. Don't worry about it. The Smith brothers. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna blow you away. Oh, yeah? Ah! I saved it, you. Oh, I got hit. I think I got hit. I was doing good there for a minute. Ah! I'm fried.
Oh no! Please continue. Yeah, so if it's if it's not evident to everybody else, our, these arcane games are being are hard on purpose. So you you pop more and more quarters in, so you have to keep playing. That's why these games are they're shorter games, but they're hard, they're difficult games, so you have to keep popping in more quarters. Hold the smokes. But yeah, that's that's why these games they're short games, but they're they're more difficult because of they want the companies want you to keep popping more and more quarters into the machine, so you keep playing. I mean, I think I've already spent like two dollars already, if not more, uh, on this game so far. Yeah. Oh yeah! Woo hoo! Ow! And I definitely, uh, maybe at some point I would play this again with maybe somebody else. Uh, maybe, maybe people, uh, a couple people. I'll tell you a secret. A huge reward is being offered for Richard Rose, but be careful. He always has a three, he always has three sidekicks with him. Great. Are you the sidekicks? Are you tricking me? All right. Oh, those three sidekicks. El Greco, Chief Wigwam, and I can't remember the other guy's name, but it went too quickly. But yeah, I definitely would maybe play some multiplayer games with somebody that had this game. I'd love to play this game with somebody else. <laughs> that sounds so sad. <laughs> I'd love to play this game with somebody else. Won't somebody play this game with me? And it's kind of a shame I didn't. Fi I haven't figured out how to. Um, oh no, I didn't make it. Oh. Continue. Yeah, it doesn't, it, I've, like I said, it doesn't give me any option, but I could have swore I played this game before where I did switch characters. I don't know how I did it. I don't remember how I did it, but I guess I'm going to stop talking about it because I'm just going to press on here. Oh, a lot of bullets flying there. Okay. Is this El Greco? I think so. He is a... Is that a trash can for a shield? Is he Captain America? Ah, I whip! He's gonna whip. He's gonna whip in the shield. Ah! Please can. Oops. In you. Ah! Wow. This guy's a. This guy's a quarter eater. That's for sure. Wow. That's tough. Ah! Wow! Oh my gosh! Wow! I can't hit him. There we go. I guess you have to get behind him. Please continue. This guy's tough. I don't know how you really get to him without getting hit. I guess you just wait from the jump. That whip's got some range on it. Wow. Ah! Got away from him there. Alright, we're getting him. He's starting to flash a little bit. I feel like this is, this is like the first boss I've fought 
where I feel like I was on the arcade as a child, like, Mommy, can I have more quarters? She'd be like, no, we've already spent too many quarters already. But I want to beat this game. Ah. This guy's taking my money. All right, he's really flashing now. He's really blinking. He's almost gone. How'd that whip hit me over there? Come on, man. I'm over here. Oh, I'm going to save that me again. Oh, come on. He's almost gone here. It looks like he's almost gone. There we go. Adios, amigo. <laughs> I like that. Adios, amigo. Oh, jeez. He fell off the train. <laughs> what a way to go. Adios, amigo. And threw his hat. I respect that. All right. More bonus stage again. Ah, I missed. Too many people. So fast. Oh my. Wah, wah, ah. Ah. I did one worse than my last time. I had 30 last time. I only got 29. All right. We're getting towards the end here. Now we're going to Chef. Ch chef. Chief Wiggum, or Chief Wiggum, <laughs> Simpsons. Ah, Shane. <laughs> I really can't do a Chief Wiggum. Chief Wigwam. And then we got the other guy, and then, uh... Black, Red Rose, Black Rose? Whatever his name is. Ah. Wow. Please continue. Cowboys and Indians. Oh, and the Indians won that one. Oh no, in the water. I can't swim. Help me, I can't swim. Oh, nice. I got the bonus. Get another one. Nice. Get off my gondola. There's an interesting take on that line. <laughs> the, I can't remember the name of the movie with Harrison Ford. Get off my plane. Me ready for power. I'm not. Get off my... Get off my gondola. Oh. Oh, man. Please can. Yeah, these bosses at the end definitely uh, costed me some money here if this was a real arcade. <laughs> Continue. 
Oh, I slid out of one and hit the other one. He's almost gone. Oh. Please continue. Got him. Oh, well out. Please, please, don't shoot my brother. He's only following orders. All right, ma'am. We won't shoot him. <laughs> what do you mean? I just spent the last five minutes shooting him. <laughs> All right, ma'am. We won't shoot him. Other than that, other than the thousand times I just shot him. All right, Paco Loco. Oh, my. Look at this guy. I'm back on our horse. <laughs> oh, that was great. Please, don't shoot my brother. All right, ma'am, I won't shoot him, even though I just did. Getting close to the end here. One more boss, and then it's the main guy. But yeah, actually, nowadays, actually, games like this... Especially what I was talking about earlier, the uh, Galloping Ghost Arcade. Most of them are free play. I mean, a lot of these beer arcades, they're free play. Uh, they want next they, you don't have to. It's just recommend that you buy something, like buy, buy a drink or something like that along the lines so that you just pay for something. But most of these arcade bars are free to play. So something like this could be beaten in a, in a setting nowadays. Back then, I mean, it would take you a lot of quarters to beat a game like this back then, especially by yourself. This game... Um, X-Men, Ninja Turtles, Simpsons, games like that, uh, Golden Axe, you know, I could go on, but they took a long time to beat because, you know, you keep dying, and <laughs> there's a perfect example. You keep dying, and, uh, you have to keep popping quarters in. Oh, wow. All right. Huh. Oh, there he is. Oh my. Uh, what did he say? He's got a bazooka. Ah! Oh, oh no. Oh! Ah! Oh. Oh. Try to get away. I like how they're nice about it. Please continue. It's like, please keep spending quarters. Whoa, hello. Oh, I got out of there. Ah. Ah. All right, nobody else with the trees. Just me and him now. Doing pretty good. Ah, I spoke too soon. Ah. No. Please continue. Please continue. Ah. Oh wow, what a dodge that was right between the bullets. How do you like that? Ah, oh, I thought it was close enough to the fence. He's almost gone. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, whoa. Please. Ah. Hasta la bye-bye. <laughs> Hasta la bye-bye. <laughs> See, I think that would have been better for Arnold Schwarzenegger to say in Terminator. Not hasta la vista, baby. Hasta la vista. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, wait. What, what are you doing? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, I think he wouldn't have survived. All right, now it's up to Sir Richard Rose. This is the final boss in the game. Definitely we've had a lot of fun playing this game today, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this retro game today. This is going to be every Friday for you guys. Uh, every Friday is going to be a retro game. We're going to... Oh, my! I just exploded myself. 
Uh, we're going to be a different retro game every week. I'm going to do the best I can to keep it uh, retro and do some different variety every week for on Retro Friday. Give me that. Ah, go down. Whoa, I just jumped. Oh, ah. oh I missed it. Oh, I got caught on fire. How do you like that? Ah. All right. Do 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 do. Look at these guys. Oh, Gatling gun. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, you got it. Oh, you son of a. Son of a. I got it. Oh, Gatling gun. Oh, come on. Uh, get hit. Get hit while using the Gatling gun. No. Please continue. How like how they run. Wait, is this it? No, this isn't it. Oh, wait, wait for me. I was like, what? What? Oh, it was a, it was a cutscene. I thought I was actually doing it myself. Oh, look out. Bomb. Dynamite, boom. Go boom. Ah, rocks. Ah. Oh, stop shooting the the light bright pieces at me. Or oh, everyone knows that reference, light bright. <laughs> uh, I still have a light bright. I got one not that long ago. Toys R Us. There's another data reference for you. Going all retro with this video. Oh my God, there's so many people down here. Hurry up! All right, going up this. Oh, okay, I don't have to shoot anybody. I was to say. Gotta get moving here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're up to Sir Richard Rose. Cherry, yeah. little chop. Ah. Ah. Please continue. Oh, the bullet's flying. Shoot the lions. Ah! Oh, I can't go up there. I thought I could. Oh, he's clever. <laughs> he's a clever one. Ah! Please come. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Ah, oh, man. He's the last boss for a reason. Shoot his statues. Ah, oh, my f he hit my foot. There we go. Ah, oh, he slid and hit me. Come on, ya... You chippy bastard. <laughs> oh, he's, he's flashing. Oh, he's almost gone. Ah, oh, and... Is that it? We got him. Wait. Oh wait! Oh, he had a bullet poop. He had a, he had some kind of glass plate in him or something. Ah, oh, he is sneaky, sneaky.
Please can. Has its thorn. <laughs> hey! Hey! Look at all that chocolate. <laughs> and that's the other characters there. That would be if we had more, f if we had friends. <laughs> All right, that is it for Sunset Riders. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did. Uh, very difficult game, but that, like I said, that's how arcade games were back in the day. They were very difficult. Uh, they wanted you to keep popping more quarters into the machine to keep playing. And uh, if we go back and tally up the total of quarters, I'm pretty sure I spent a couple, a few more, a few more, uh, more than a couple dollars on this game. Uh, very good game. Could I made some great arcade games back in the day, and this one is definitely one of them. Thank you very much for watching here on BD Games. Definitely subscribe to the channel for more content. Like this video, let me know I'm doing a good job, and share this video around with your friends. And as always, thank you so much for joining me right here on BD Games.